Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To create a purchase order, click the Create button and then click the Purchase Order link under the vendor's heading in the drop-down menu to open the Purchase Order window. You can use the drop-down in the upper left corner of the page to choose a vendor. You can also type a new vendor name here to quickly add a vendor. To the right of the drop-down is an email field. This field is populated with the vendor's email address if you entered that data when creating the vendor's record. Below the drop-down is another drop-down where you can select the purchase order's status. The choices are open or closed. The mailing address is populated with the vendor's address. If creating a new vendor, you can enter their billing address here. To the right is a Ship To drop-down that lets you select a customer name for drop shipments. If this is not used, the Shipping Address field displays your company's shipping address. The Purchase Order Date field shows the current date by default. Below this field is a Ship Via field where you can enter a shipping carrier preference. If you have location tracking turned on, a location drop-down also appears at the right side of this window. Next is the Account Details section. You can click the black arrow to the left of the Account Details label to collapse and expand this section. If you do not use products and services, you can use this section to list accounts affected by purchases. You can click into the Account column to select the account, like a Supplies account, for example. You can then enter the purchase description and amount into the description and amount fields. These can also be assigned to a customer or class if enabled by using the customer and class fields. The account details section is rarely used as it defeats the purpose of receiving inventory items using a purchase order. Below the account details section is the more commonly used item details section. You can also collapse and expand this section by clicking the black arrow to the left of the item details label. This section is used to enter the products and or services you are purchasing from the vendor. You can select an existing product or service from the product service fields drop down. Ensure the value in the description field shown is accurate. Then enter the quantity and rate into the quantity and rate fields. That will then calculate the amount shown in the amount field. You can also assign each item to a customer or class if enabled by using the customer and class drop-down fields. When you click into the last line in either section, a new line is automatically added. You can also click the Add Lines button under either section to add four new lines at a time if desired. To delete a line item, click the Delete button, which looks like a trash can, at the right end of the line item to delete. You can also click the Clear All Lines button below either section to delete all the lines in that section. Below these sections, you can enter a message to the vendor into the Your Message to Vendor field. This message appears on the purchase order. You can enter information for yourself into the Memo field. This field does not appear in the purchase order. Finally, the Attachments field lets you attach a file up to 25 megabytes in size to the purchase order. In the toolbar at the bottom of the screen are buttons for Cancel, Clear, Print, Make Recurring, Save, and a drop-down Save and Send button. The choices in the Save and Send button's drop-down menu are Save and New and Save and Close. To cancel the purchase order, click the Cancel button. To clear all the data from the current purchase order, click the Clear button. To print the purchase order, click the Print button to open a Print Preview PDF of the purchase order in a new window, which you can then print and close when finished. Doing this also saves the transaction. Clicking the Make Recurring button opens the Recurring Purchase Order window where you can create a new Recurring Purchase Order template, which is discussed in a separate lesson. Clicking the Save button saves the purchase order. You can also click the corresponding choice from the Save and Send drop-down button to save the purchase order and then send it, close the window, or create a new purchase order. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.